Like today is a Saturday. It just happens that our schedule works out this way. So we have to be here on Saturday and it's quite crowded. But I feel like if you come here on weekday, it's probably better. Um, and also take the cable carts up, like all the way up. And if I were you, I would walk all the way to the back where there's a temple and a tower and start from there and work your way back out because everyone else is like taking pictures outside. So if you walk all the way inside and you work your way out, you're actually kind of going against the traffic, which is pretty nice. Um, yeah, so I highly recommend coming to Bana Hill if you ever come to Danan. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's really pretty, the, but the best part is it's, it's cool. Like the weather is really, really good. Um, yeah, it's so nice to, stay away from the heat for a day. You know, it's nice if you want to 
get some fresh air and there's a lot of restaurants in here um in here it is you know pricey because it's in a tourist area but it's definitely worth coming here in a day um you can sign up for tours but we just um came here by ourselves so we were in the city center of Danang and we took a taxi here um, you can either go by meter or you can negotiate a set price so we negotiated a set price it's about 300,000 um, um, to take the taxi from Danang to here um, some places they will ask for 400 for 50,000 but you know it, it, it should be around um, 300,000 if you want to come here yeah, and then the ticket to come in, the emissions ticket, is 650000 to come in. And that does include the cable cart um, to go all the way up. So we're spending a full day in Danang today. And then tomorrow morning, we're flying back to Ho Chi Minh City. So basically what happened was my cousin and I, we flew into Ho Chi Minh City. And then we took the overnight sleep buses from, um, from Ho Chi Minh City to... Um, not 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 train and then from there to and then and then we hang out in that area and then we took another sleep bus from not train to Danang and then we're I mean not train to Hoi An which is about 30 minutes away from Danang anyway so it's really close and then so we just took a taxi from Hoi An to Danang and then now we're gonna fly back from Danang to Ho Chi Minh City and then my cousin's going back to work and then I am headed off to my next location which is Hong Kong. Um, yeah. I mean, I've been on the road for two and a half months now. Um, I've been loving it. I kind of don't want to go back, but you know, school is starting. I'm finally made it to medical school and school is finally starting. I'm really excited, but like in a way, I wish that I started traveling earlier. I thought three months was enough for me to travel, but yeah, it's not. Um, I wish I could spend more time here in Vietnam. And then I spent a month in Korea, which was good, um, but I really liked Korea. I feel like I can potentially see myself living there one day. Um, it's a, it's quite comfortable. Um, the weather's nice. I mean, I heard the winters are harsh, but you know, like in terms of May and June, the weather's really beautiful. Um, and the air quality, it just, it's not bad. Um, compared I mean it's not bad compared to a lot of other places that I've been to so I felt like I should have you know a lot of at least half a year for traveling so I could spend more time in a lot of other places that I wanted to stay Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.